Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain very very important question of brain teaser question for the placement and interview exams. Today I'm going to explain. This is the part number two. So brain teaser interview question answer part number two. The first that is the sixth question. One to fifth question we have done in part number one. So this is the sixth question. What two words when combined hold? The most letters. The question is what? Very confusing question. What two words when combined hold the most letter? What are the two words when they combine? Then hold the most letter. So everyone will be confused with this question. But the correct answer is what? Post office. So this is a one word is what? That is the post. And second word is what? That is post office. So you know that is what two words when combined hold the most letter. When post and office combine become the post office. In post office there is a most of letter. So correct answer is what? Post office. So this type of questions are generally asked. This is called brief teaser question. So you have to check the how can we give this type of the questions answers. Now the second question. Again, very typical. Make one word. Make one word from all the following jumbled words. These are given jumbled word R E O D N O W. You have to make question word. Make one word from all the following jumbled word. Everyone will be confused that we have to make one word from this jumbled words. Okay. So, but question is very easy. When you understood this line, what is line? Make one word from all the following jumbled words. That means this is a confusing word. We have to make one word. So we arrange this word in such a way. We arrange this letter in such a way that we get one word. So you know this is O, this is N, and this is E. So first we will write O, N, E. This is one, and then we left. W and then this O and then this R and then this D. So we get one word. So very simple but very tricky. It will not come quickly in your mind. So make one word from all the following jumbled words. These jumbled words are given. We have to make one word. Okay. So it. And it will follow the one word. What type of one word? But here only you have to make one word. O N E one W O R D word from this letter. So this is O. This is N. This is E. That is one. And then W O R D word. Now this is your answer. One word. You have arranged this jumbled word and make what? That is the one word. In the same question, you see what is the next in the series. So generally, this type of question of the missing series questions are very common this time in any in interviews placement exams. So two, four, twelve, fourteen. So no any you can say formula any technique to solve this type of question on your mind of pertinence is the most important for this type of question. Okay, so you have to check what following what the rule is going on, what the series going on. So this is two, four, twelve, forty. So there is a certain relation between this. So we have to find what is the relation, and same relation will come here. So when you got this number, you will find that what is this? Just like two, and then there is a four. So two into two, four. Again, you see four into three. So one times we are multiplying by two. Two into two. Again, then we are multiplying what? Four into three. Now we are multiplying what? That is four, twelve four here. So after that we will multiply this number by five. So our correct answer will be five eight is a forty and five four is a twenty four two four twenty four. So here our correct answer is what? Two hundred forty. So the most important part is what? We have to check how this series is going on. What is the relation between these numbers? If you understood this, then any question of the series question will you can make very easily. In the same way, this is what is the next number in the following sequence? Again, the same question: What is the next number 
in the four ratio. So you have to check what is the relation going on. So this is 125, this is 64, this is 27, this is 8. So there is some relation. So we have to find out what is the relation. So we are saying that this is the 5 square and this is 5 cube and this is the 4 cube and this is the 3 cube and this is 2 cube. So we find that relation the number is decreasing one. 5 cube, 4 cube, 3 cube and 2 cube. Then we understood that now the next number will become what? That is 1 cube. So 1 cube is what? 1. So our correct answer will be 1. In the same way, what is the next number? In the following, again the same thing. We have the digit 0, 0, 1, double 2, 4, 3, 6, 4, 8, 5. So every digit is moving with a certain rule. So we have to check so what the rule follows. The same rule we will get here. Then we will get the number for the here. So here sometimes this type of series come. If there is a two series one side go. First, third, fifth, seventh. And then second, fourth, sixth. So you have to check this type of cell because no formula, no technique. Only your question can be solved by mind of Persian. So here you are seeing that there is a relation 0 to 1. Again 1 to 2. Again 2 to 3. 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Then this number will come here. What we need here? So we go for next series. 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. Then here what? 8 to 10. So our correct answer will be 10. So 10 is what? This is 2, 1, 6. This is 0, this is 1, and this is 35. So you can check here. This is 0 to 2, and 2 to 0 to uh, 0 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8, 8 to 10. So I think this is the 10. So C option is the right answer. So for the series question, only you have to know how the pattern is going. What is the relation between the given number? So say by the help of the same relation, we will find the next number. So I think you have understood all this. Uh, tenth question in the part number three of brain teaser interview question we will give with more and more questions of the brain teaser question thank you